So usually I like to report these like internet dramas and you know beefs across the internet. What we're going to be talking about today is something that has escalated into the illegal territory. <laughs> it's quite literally not okay what Sniper Wolf did. So the tale begins like any single scary movie in the entire world that's ever been created. She created a Instagram story, and that's the kind of picture you see on your screen here. Should I go visit Jack's films? He lives about five minutes away from my shoot. With a little yes or no option to her five million Instagram followers. Now, even if she didn't mean this, I think this is some of the most cringe behavior that you can even address to a fan base, you know, in general. Just imagine, hee hee, let's go intimidate him because he's being mean to me. So Sniper Wolf actually ends up going to Jack's film's house. I'm not going to show the Instagram picture on this video at all because unlike Sniper Wolf, I actually believe that that is damaging and harmful. Even if it's showing it to one additional person, you know, that's spreading the information of somebody's private security. That You are opening up a can of worms that you can't even begin to describe. Five million followers? You're telling me not one of those is probably deranged? I mean, it really only takes one person, right? One person out of her entire following and whoever else saw the photo to be absolutely out of their mind to literally go on the internet tonight put that photo in, play a good game of GeoGuessr, and just have a screw loose to go to his house and do some absolutely deranged shit. And before I go into the rest of what Sniper Wolf did, I really just want to talk about why would she even do this? Why would she even attempt to do something like this to a poor, innocent other YouTuber? Well, this story has more lore than the Tolkien trilogy. So I'm going to sum this up really fast because I don't want to bore you with all the details. But essentially, Sniper Wolf is a YouTuber, and what you see on your screen here is her channel. So, as I start scrolling, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about when I say she basically re-uploads TikToks and gives these half-assed reactions. Now, reaction content is a widely discussed, widely debated topic, and there's tons of videos out there talking about the morality of them, if we should do them, what YouTube should do. I'm not here to talk about that. I do reacts. I hopefully do them a little bit better than Sniper Wolf does, but either way, that was the beef that Jax had. Jax didn't like this. He didn't like that she was essentially freebooting content. So this is his channel. Jax film in the other corner here. Basically is a parody type YouTuber. He creates different... Um, videos based on different things that happen on YouTube, different, you know, life sequences, and makes parodies out of them. So he makes original content. He doesn't freeboot, but he has a very big chip on his shoulder over it, especially Sniper Wolf and the way that she does it, because it isn't transformative in any way whatsoever. So what Jax Films did is essentially created a separate channel called J -J -J Jax Films. You see what he did there. And essentially started doing these videos making fun of Sniper Wolf. Now, if you've never watched one, they are kind of funny because he does this live on stream. He essentially sets up a bingo board of very generic statements and things that Sniper Wolf does, like stealing jokes, repeating what the video said, stating something obvious, that sort of thing. And he basically starts checking them off on the bingo card every time she does it. And it's hilarious on stream in front of people because without fail, he almost always gets bingo and sometimes gets an entire blackout. And Sniper Wolf took that personally. So I'm a big believer in this thought that if you believe to yourself that you are not doing anything wrong, you won't be offended by whatever anybody says. But if you think a little bit that what you're doing is wrong, anytime somebody does something like this will hyper set you off because it's almost like a secondary conscience talking to you, telling you that, hey, Maybe you shouldn't do that. So this continued on like any normal internet beef where he would post a video and then she would post a tweet and he would post a video and she would post a tweet and basically complaining that Jax Films was always harassing her and hey, why don't you pick on somebody else? When in reality, this was just a F you to the reaction community in itself. He was just using Sniper Wolf as an example as she's the biggest offender of this. Which brings us back to our story right now. After Sniper Wolf basically posted to 5 million people the home address of Jack's films and the picture of his house for everybody to see, 
Uh, Jack obviously called her out and said, you're an absolute psycho, what are you doing? And then she goes on and posts, this creep's been harassing me for months, then plays the victim, saying, I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Jax Films is obviously a successful YouTuber before this. He just thinks you suck at YouTube and he's making fun of you. Sniperwolf just docks me on her IG. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and you stalk YouTubers. YouTube demonetized this dangerous creator. So essentially from here, the entire YouTube community, Jax Films and anybody in it, is accusing her of doxing, which she literally did do. I don't even know how it's accusing. I don't even know why we are saying it's alleged. She literally posted a picture. There's photographic proof on the internet available for everybody to see that she did in fact do this crime. Crime. I'm going to say that again. It is a crime. I do think it's ironic that she went ahead to post this on her Instagram story saying, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox which is hilarious in itself. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. So after accusing Jax Films of saying he was the victim and creating drama for the ability to pay his bills, she further goes on to make herself the victim. This is a textbook psycho girlfriend move. What never fails to surprise me during this whole thing is there's these droves of parasocial Andes that basically are still after because of Booba or whatever the case is. You know, people saying, I can fix her and I can make her better. Obviously, I know m probably most of them are memeing, even though it's, I feel like, bad timing in this case. There are actual genuine people out there defending this. It reminds me of the leave Britney alone guy. You know what I'm saying? Which brings us to our case in point for this video. Sniper Wolf should not be on YouTube. She should not be allowed to provide content to the platform any longer because she turned her platform into a weaponized item to basically try to get her way. She was mad at Jax Films for making fun of her on the internet and saying mean words, so she decided to risk his safety and post it to 5 million people and whoever knows how many more people saw it after the exposure of this. It's not okay. And I've made videos about this before, but doxing is completely not okay. It's like a breach in the internet code. Like, it's like a code of arms. You just broke the entire thing. Any argument you had defending yourself for this, you could you could have made the argument, hey, Jax Films is harassing me, which she tried multiple times on Twitter, and it was like this funny little content beef between them to watch and appeal at. But it all goes out the window. You don't have an argument anymore because you are the bad guy. If Jax Films had a knife, you brought a nuclear bomb to that fight. You blew this whole thing way out of proportion and threw threatened his real life security. And here's a fun little fact in case you didn't know this, YouTube actually doesn't allow this. In their harassment policy, they identify a couple things that you just can't do because, yeah, maybe you shouldn't be able to dox somebody on the internet and risk their safety. So the policy includes harmful behavior such as deliberately insulting or shaming minors, threats, bullying, doxing, or encouraging abusive fan behavior. So Sniper Wolf in this case obviously did doxing, even though she claims she has no idea what it is or how to do it, even though she literally asked her fan base, should I do it? Now the ball is in YouTube's court. I'm excited to see what they do because in their own terms of service, this is completely disallowed and YouTube usually comes to the aid of Sniper Wolf, usually sometimes praising her. I really want to know how Sniper Wolf finds all those videos to react to. And they even have a tweet that basically asks where she gets all of her ideas from, where Jax Films actually responds that, well, she steals them from other people. If nothing is done about this, I believe there's going to be some pretty big uproar in the YouTube community because that's just going to further reflect that they don't really care what you do. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're not posting a full-length Batman film up to the YouTube without any commentary or breaks, you could do whatever the hell you want, which you could argue why not? Okay, let's do that. But I believe the line should have to be drawn somewhere, even for people like Sniper Wolf that brings millions of watch hours to the platform. I understand they make YouTube a lot of money. I get it, okay? You're a business. But ultimately, this is a direct threat to somebody's life. I mean, real people can be hurt by this, by this decision, because somebody got butt hurt over a couple haha -ha videos making fun of your low effort content. It's not okay. That's my point. It's not okay, and YouTube needs to do something about it. It really does lie on YouTube to actually do something about it, because 
creators can't do anything about it. You, you, they don't give you the tools to handle these types of situations properly. You just are pretty much fucked no matter what. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you.